Welcome to How to Price. This episode is the cost plus death spiral. Ooh, sounds awesome. Let's jump to the chalkboard, see what we're talking about. Let's take a look at a scenario that might happen, might be a little exaggerated, but you're gonna get the idea. We've got a company that has periodic fixed costs of a million dollars. This could be quarterly, this could be monthly, annual, doesn't matter, it's periodic. I'm gonna use the word quarter just to be consistent. So quarterly, they got a million dollars. They forecasted that they're gonna sell 5,000 units every quarter. And so if you just do the math, take 5,000, uh, take a million divided by 5,000, you get $200 per unit. Now, of course, we want 100% markup because we're cost plus pricing. Ugh. And what does that make our price? It makes our price $400. Now we projected that we're gonna sell 5,000 units, but in reality, the quarter ended and we only sold 2,500 units. Finance has to go make a few adjustments. So fixed cost didn't change, but it turns out that instead of 5,000 units, we know we're only gonna sell 2,500, so we'll put 2,500 in there. So now when you do the math, our cost per unit goes from 200 to 400. We still want our 100% markup. The price just went from 400 to 800. Now, if we sold 2,500 units at $400, are we still gonna sell 2,500 units at $800? Probably not. So let's say we only sell 1,000 units. We go through the math again. We throw 1,000 in instead of 2,500. Now we've got a $1,000 cost. We want our 100% markup. We have a $2,000 price. How many are we gonna sell now? This is a death spiral. If all we're gonna use is forecasted unit sales to allocate our fixed costs and then use cost plus pricing, we are at very big risk of charging prices that nobody would ever pay us. So the lessons you wanna walk out of this with, first off, don't use cost plus pricing. Have I said that enough yet? Number two, allocating fixed costs to estimate your variable costs is dangerous. Don't do it. See you on the next episode.